I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, can you see and hear me well? I think I well now. Oh, you can hear me now. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay, anyway, how was your day? It's, I think it's good. It's good. Is it still raining in Vietnam? Oh, no. It, no. Now, it's not raining now. Oh, that's good. So, it's not raining now. So, you can do things outdoors already. Okay, so, let's now start with our discussion. Okay, let's learn new vocabulary. Okay, there. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so let's read the first one. Opponent. Yes, and do you know what is opponent? I know it's like an enemy. Yes, it's like an enemy. Someone who fights another in a game. Okay. That is an opponent. Okay, how about give me a sample sentence with the word opponent? I cannot think about any sentence. Okay, that's all right. Okay, let's just proceed with the next word. Grace. Grace. And do you know what is grace? I don't know. Okay, grace is... A polite, controlled action with poise. Yes, a polite, a good action, and also a controlled with poise or move with so smoothness. <coughs> you, yes. Okay, you move with grace. So that is grace. So let's proceed to the next one. Wait. Mm-hmm. Vicarious. Okay, and do you know this word, vicarious? I don't know. All right, so vicarious is? Is experiencing through another person. Yeah, it is a situation where you act or acting for someone else. So if you want something, the other person is doing it for you that is being vicarious acting for someone else others will do it for you okay next one is next one is wait stadium <laughs> okay stadium and do you know what is stadium i know oh you know and what is a stadium I think it's like a place we do football. Yes. A, yes. Football. Yes, that is a stadium, a place where you play outdoor games like football and many more sports being played outside. So that is a studio, stadium rather. Okay, next one is... That's what is defeat. Okay, defeat. And do you know what is defeat? I don't know. Oh, you don't know what is defeat. Okay. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, you know. And defeat is defeat is being. Uh... Lose. Yes, perfect. Defeat is state of being beaten in a battle game or being loose or you lose a game. You are defeat or you are defeated. You lose the game. That is defeat. Okay, next one is. Next one is man this. Okay. We read this word as manliness. Oh, manliness. Yes. From the word manliness, it is... Word manliness 
is a quality <coughs> of a male who is brave and strong. Yes, the quality of a male <laughs> who is brave and strong. Therefore, if he is brave and strong, he is or he has manliness quality. Okay, next one is. Next one is so soulful. Yes, perfect, soulful, and it is. It is expressing strong emotions. Okay, expressing strong emotions. That is soulful. Okay, I think that's it. So let's now go to. The lesson. Okay, so what was the um article we read last time? <coughs> yes. It's about yes. yes, it's about sports. Okay, let's continue answering those were on um, those questions we haven't finished, and we are already in number four. Okay, please read number four and answer. Okay. <coughs> Why do um, people are crazy about sports events? What is crazy about sports events? Okay, we're done answering with one, two. We're already now in four. Event is um. Anything that happens, important events or important things that happens, sports and whatsoever, that is events. Okay, we're done with one, two, three last meeting, so we will now proceed to four. Okay. Do you want to be a professional player? Why or why not? I think I don't want to because I'm so... I think I cannot be. You cannot because? Because I think I'm too weak. Oh, because you think you are too weak. Oh, you think that way? Are you, are you weak? <coughs> Oh, yes. Oh, so what are the things you're going to do to make you strong? I'm strong. I don't know. Okay, so for you not to be weak, um, you need just have a lot of practice. Eat healthy foods. And everything. If you want to be a professional football player, just practice. Because practice makes perfect. Or practice makes progress. So, anyway, you're still young. When you grow up, maybe you're already strong and brave. A manliness quality of a person. Okay, let's go to five. Okay. Number five is <coughs> what are the benefits of being an athlete, a superstar? Yes. What are the good things of being an 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 athletic superstar? If you become athletic superstar, what will happen? I do. I think is I will have so strong. Yes, you'll become so strong. What else? Aside from being so strong, and you became the superstar, the best football player. Yes. <coughs> if you become the best football player in Vietnam. What is what is the good thing about it? I 
I will be famous. Yes, that's the right term. You will be famous. Many people will know uh, know that you're the best football player in Vietnam. And me, many people will take a picture, have your sign, or anything as a re remembrance to the <laughs> best player. Okay, so let's proceed with number six. <coughs> Number six is what kind of stress do you think is the famous, most famous and athlete or under? Okay, what do you think is the stress of those famous athletes? Their greatest stress or their greatest fear. If you have, if you're an athlete, what is your greatest fear? I don't know. Okay, if you're an athlete or if you're a professional athlete, your kind of stress here is um defeating. You're gonna lose oh. the game. So you, if oh. you lose the game, you'll become very stressed. So that's the stress of the most famous athletes um experience. The state of being loose or losing. Okay, now let's go to seven. Number seven is Is what kind of stress do ordinary, ordinary players suffer from? I okay. What kind of stress do ordinary players suffer from? If famous athletes are stressed when they lose, how about those ordinary players? What do you think is their kind of stress? Uh, she is a uh, lose stress. Yes, they also um ha they also have um stress in losing. Aside from that, they're also stressed from um they're also fr stressed from things that they can't do, <coughs> just like the famous athlete players. So they can't be just like those famous athlete players so that's also their stress to those ordinary peoples because they want to be that kind of person or the kind of athlete but because lots of um no practice so they can't reach to be a famous athlete so that's their stress there's that's their kind of stress also okay now let's go to Eight. <coughs> okay. In what sports are athletes mostly like most likely to get rich? Okay, what are those sports that you will likely to get rich? The first one is I think it's football. Football. Next one is next one is the most common in all around the world. Oh, next one. <coughs> next one is basketball. Yes, basketball and football are those sports that <coughs> you will like to get rich. Okay, do you know someone who is um famous in football player in football? Do you know someone, some player that is very famous in the entire world? Do you know but someone? I don't know any. I think I don't know anyone. Oh, I see. How about in I mean, Vietnam? I know some. I think Do you know some? In Vietnam, I don't know. 
Oh, in Vietnam. Because in Vietnam, uh, the actually players have some not a richy is not richy. Oh, not rich. Yes. Oh, I see. So now let's go to reading some opinions samples. Okay, let's go to number one first. Okay. I imagine that there's no feeling in the world like being a center of attention on a basketball court or a basketball diamond, on a golf links or in a football stadium. There are no chance to think. Just <coughs> the it's only time to act and react. Any mistake you can make could cost you in the game. What a brilliant play you could be the cause of victory. Whatever you do is seen instantly by the fans who immediately let you know what they think about it. The army must be pumping a heart in the entire time. And you are living your life, at least during a game, at the time that he matters a minute. What a thrill. Okay, so thank you for reading. So there is one word here that you, mis <coughs> you mispronounce. Okay, we read this one as adrenaline. Okay, adrenaline. Now let's go to number two. Oh, adrenaline. Yes, adrenaline. Okay, now let's go to number two. Can you read? You can pause if you will, if your throat <coughs> is itching. You can pause a while. Okay. People. Okay. People associate mainly with athletes. Successful sports players are considered to be more masculine than brilliant scientists or soulful poets and have more like attracting beautiful women. They have also have lots of money, not only directly from the sport, but even more so from making public a Appearances. <coughs> Appearances on commercials and endorsing products. And after playing days are over, they can usually count on be given in a precise job. Why would anyone, anyone want to do this for a living? Okay, so let's read the first one. Associate. Okay. This is associate. Oh, associate. Okay, this one is public. Public. Okay. Next one is appear appearances. Appearances. And the last one is prestigious. Prestigious. Again, prestigious. Prestigious. There. Okay, now to reading and discussing this. Don't forget the disabled. Do you know what is disabled? <coughs> Do you have any idea what is disabled? I don't know. Okay, this yeah, able do you have now? I don't have any disabled now. Okay. <coughs> able these are those persons that who has 
physically or mentally has a condition. They are having a difficulty. Like for example, a person has only one arm. The person is only one leg. Or a person cannot, okay, cannot walk properly or stand properly. So there are disabled. So a person who has not born in normal condition. So we call that one disabled or having a disability. Okay, now let's go and read this um small short um text. Okay. Can you please read? Okay. Don't forget to forget the disabled. As the wheelchair user myself and disability activist, I go through daily hardship, try to <coughs> live a normal life. Government forget about our needs and rights to be treated as equal citizens. People with disabilities constantly suffer from a general lack of consolation for right. the plight. We are like any other minority group and a lack of talk about our rights and need to happen in any nation. Every society should always be mindful of its almost vulnerable members. Okay. So again, how do you read this word? Sociality. Okay. Society. Oh, society. There. That is the word society. And if you see this word, how will you pronounce this one? This one. Uh, wait. It is? Heart. Again? T-H-O. U-J-H-T. How do you pronounce um, this word? Okay, we read H O U thought. Yes, it's thought. Okay, so now let's go answer some short questions regarding with these. Don't forget the disabled. Okay, first question. Um, do you know someone who has disabilities or who has this um have disabled or who are disabled? Do you have do you know someone or have you met someone? Okay. Okay. Do you already meet someone who has um disabilities or who have difficulty ha ha or difficulty in um in their body or anything? So like one arm, one leg. Have you already met someone? <coughs> no. Oh, I did not. Okay, not yet. Okay, now. Okay, now let's go to number two. Okay. What should the government do to take care of this dis disabled person or people? Again, what should the government do to take care of this disabled person? Okay, what should the government do? It's found in the text. Okay. Oh. What happened? Okay, there you're back. Is there something wrong with your internet? Uh, 
Okay. There. Can you see me? <coughs> yes. Okay. So, I think there's having a trouble in your connection. Anyway, let's just proceed answering the questions. Maybe we already have three minutes left. Okay. What should government do to take care of or for those disabled persons? What should the government do to take good care of those disabled persons? Okay. They should. They should. I don't know. Okay. The government will take care of those disabled person by okay, treating them equally. So you need to treat those disabled person, even though they have um, differences, we should treat them equally, just like a normal citizen. We just treat them like a normal people. Okay. It, it's okay, son. Everybody does it. So let's just... Let's just read this one that opens the meeting here. So for you, it's for you to have um for you uh, for me to help you. So you read this one. I read. You read. I read, and you read. That be okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So so that your throat will not itchy. Okay. You read first. Okay. When the boy was six years old, he was with his father when they were caught speeding. His father had the officer serve abuse <coughs> with his driver's nets. It's okay, son. His father said he drove up. Everybody does it. Okay. When he was eight, he was permitted to sit on a family seminar, preceded over by his uncle, on how to keep from paying some of their taxes. It's okay, kid, his uncle said. Everybody, everybody does it. Okay, your turn. Okay. When he was 12, he broke his glasses on the way to school. His aunt convinced the insurance company that they had seen they had been stolen and collect enough money to buy a new pair. It's okay, kid, she said. Everybody does it. Okay, when he was 15, <laughs> his coach showed him how to block and at the end, at the same time, grab his opponent by the shirt so the official couldn't see it. It's okay, kid, the coach said. Everybody does it. Okay. Okay, next one. When he was 16, he took his first summer job at the neighborhood supermarket. His assignment... <coughs> was to put over tomatoes in the bottom of the box and and the good ones and the good one on the top on top where they did show it's okay kid the manager said everybody does it okay when he was in college an Upper classman offered to sell him the answers to a test. It's okay, kid, he said. Everybody does it. But the boy was caught and sent home in disgrace. How could you do this to your mother and me? His father asked. You never learned anything like this at home. His aunt and uncle also were shocked. His coach turned against him, and the grocer refused to give him his old job back. If there's anything the adult would world can't stand it's a kid who cheats okay no, wait, so time. we just continue discussing this next meeting okay thank you for cooperating Vu. see you next time bye okay uh -huh.
Bye.